Go, go this way. Alright, wait, wait. Stay still, stay still. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. Go this way. Go. Oh, dang. Time to print, solder, and program. I'll get it. Oh, oh. That almost takes up the entire bed size. Two hours and five minutes. I just leveled the bed like manually. I had the nozzle with the edges, like sags in the middle. Alright, so you go here. Already put the STL sliced on the card. Test frame, right? Boom. G code. I just made like a great G code by hand. You're crazy. Who are you crazy? Damn, that's big. Look at my hand. Let's see. You see something on the screen, like the model. But then you see it in real life, then holy shit. <clears throat> Damn. There it is. The spinning thing of a lazy Susan. Two hours, 18 minutes to print. That's the scale right there. Uh, I'd like a mouse, a trackpad. <laughs> Look at how enormous it is. Jesus. Yeah, that's a fail. I think the way to do it is uh, the spinning one. But that's crazy. It's like, and then here's your trackpad. There's our giant ring frame. I'm gonna solder pins on here. And I'm just gonna use a, a female to female connectors for testing until I wire it up. What you'll have is a like, daughter board that you shove down. It'll have a 40 pin female header thing. All the wires are connected to the thing. I'm just testing if these two different sensors have different addresses. I'm hoping they do. If not, it'll be more complicated. Um, for soldering, I take, uh, I got this nasty thing of flux over here. This is not how you're supposed to do it, but I put it on the, over the holes. And then, uh, put your header, your male header pins on, and then just touch it on the other side. The sensor is on that side, that's why I'm soldering it like that. There's my soldering iron right there. Sorry, I live like a scum, so... Actually, I said that wrong. Um, the male header pins are going to go from the back to the front here. It's hard to do. Actually, let me... One sec. Alright. Look at that. It's like an extra hand. Come on, come on. Alright, so right there. The header pin is going to go from the back to the front, right? So where you want to put the flux is on the front. Like that. And then you put this on. That. You touch it with the soldering iron, it'll just stick. Oh man, that looks bad. There you go, boom. This is the solder I've been using, it's pretty good. Rosin coal. There you go, now you got the nice fillets, fillets. So I'm starting to work on this, uh, get enable I squared to C. So then that'll be available. And then uh, this is the Pi 4 with 8 gigs of RAM, you can see. Quad core, 8 gigs of RAM. 
sitting right here. And I'm, I cloned the, this library right here. Oh my god, the light! The light! Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Delphi 3 LOX Python, yeah. Bye. Where's the user? Gadgetoid. Yeah, so that's what I'm using for reading the values. I've worked with this sensor before. See it on here? That purple one right there? This one, the beam is like 2 degrees, so this one's like super accurate. Whereas this one is like wide. 25. Got uh, the two different sensors wired up. I squared C. Um, that's interesting. Normally you can do like I2C detect 0, 1, 2, and they're there. But for the 4, it seems like only one is enabled by default. So I'm looking at how to turn on other ones. I just want two. Uh, so far, the uh, this black one is 29. It's possible this one's also 29, which uh, that'll be a problem. <laughs> But yeah, trying to get the other ones enabled. I don't know what uh, S squared C20 and 21 are, but they're full. Like, damn. So, that's not what I want. Man, so the Pi 4 only has one I squared C bus enabled by default. You have to, like, enable the other ones in the boot firmware file and then probably add these pull-up resistors that they've been mentioning in these threads. So I'm reading this one. <sighs> All the other pies I've used like zeros. This just worked like the buses were available. So this is a new problem I didn't think about or anticipate. Alright, so I did finally get this working thankfully. The only thing I had to add uh, was this line here. DT param I2C equals on. The issue is <laughs> they're both the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to have like a microcontroller talk to these things and then talk to the Pi. Which sucks. That's extra work. Damn. I have to save this for tomorrow. I went to the park today, so I lost like two hours of good brain time. Ah, oh well. I went to the park though, recorded some uh, camera video, so there's that. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I have to see what like Arduino board I have lying around to use. Alright, this seems dumb, but this Ceduino has one I squared C interface. So, <laughs> what I can do is. Wait. I could just turn on another I squared C bus on the Pi 4, maybe. Alright, let me check that before I do this. Because what I was going to do is talk to this thing by serial, and then it accesses the third sensor by I squared C but then you got that lag now I'm gonna check that all right with a little bit of research you don't have to be a dumbass <laughs> do it the hard way so I do have three of the sensors running and they're all on the same Raspberry Pi board so I squared C detect uh, five zero and one one is the one that's available by default uh, and I reference this thread here that one. Um, so, yeah, and then if you look at the config, it's boot firmware config. Um, that's what I've got right there. DT param, SQRC0 equals on. Armon is the one that's normal, or by default. And then 0 is what I added, and I2C5 is what I added. And if you look at the uh, pinout, 
it's referring to the GPIO pins like 10 and 11. So you give up spy to do that, but that's alright, I don't need them. That one's the one that's default. And then this is zero over here, SD and SC over here. Yep, so they're all connected now. And then I can just mount them here and start writing the trig code to detect the X and Y position. Oh man, it's assembled. Alright, I did not realize like how long these wires had to be. A yeah, six inch diameter circle is pretty big, it turns out. But, uh,. Yeah, I had to extend. That could cause problems, you know, wire length. We'll see. But there they all are. They're screwed in. And all of them are addressable by S squared C. So now, I gotta write the code. Okay, so here's like theory and operation. Uh, your finger, what's a color like red? Blue. Say like that's your finger. Um, so this fires a beam, then it goes backwards. Damn, I screwed up that one. Goes backwards. Doom. Similarly, this one fires a beam. Goes backwards. Fires a beam goes backwards if there's something there but and then what you've got here are triangles like that so this one's nice because it's just like well it still is a triangle like that but yeah so it's just a lot of uh Cosine, sine stuff. Sokotoa, baby. So when an, um, your finger like moves over here, then the the distance like increases that way. And also like, uh, well, if it's perfectly horizontal, it won't increase the vertical distance. But yeah. It's be interesting to coordinate that. But, uh, remember which one is which. Uh, so I'm about to verify that. I mean, I showed it in the previous video, but I'll also verify with uh, test code. Like I'm moving towards this one. It registers it. Man, this is great. I got a seg fault when I try to run the code. <laughs> that was because there's multiple. I unplugged two of them and he still has a seg fault. Let's try to figure out why. Uh, here we go. Bigger text. Number go bigger. Alright, do it. So you got three, five, six. Oh crap, my bad. I'm looking at the screen. Let me do it again. Middle, go towards it. Three, two, away. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so the code I have to write now is like, put my finger down here, start going this way, this way, that way, that way. It translates it to just X and Y values. So it, you know, it starts off like zero, zero at some point, like on boot. You go like this way, this way, this way, it moves that way, that way. You know, it's cumulatively like adding those values I don't know what I'll do to like reset though I mean I think on the computer if you do the like mouse USB device which I have to figure that part out still there is like a maximum bounds like your mouse won't disappear into for eternity <laughs> so you just like back up in that case you're just applying a direction not Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to figure that out. Alright, so I'm working on writing the code for this. This thing, like, sucks. <laughs> you can see, like, how much space is wasted. And, um, all it does is measure distance. And then, like, 
the farther away it measures, like the wider an object has to be. I don't know if it has to be fully inside or fully cover the cross section, or if like just being inside the beam is enough to reflect. But yeah, like this is a, a 0.75 inch wide finger. So it's like you go here and it's like already outside of the measuring area. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, you've got your right triangle rules and you're just uh, averaging the x values. You have like a coordinate system, like say this is 0, 0. If you go this way, um, you know, it's positive here, but negative here. Wow, that doesn't really make sense. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm just writing the code for that. Damn. <laughs> this thing is so dumb, I don't want to finish it, but I will. The vision I had in mind is like, I'd have a web interface, or be like a a box, you know, and then I'd have, you'd see both a screen and the mouse in frame, and then I would steer the box. And beyond that, you have to do like a, a either Bluetooth mouse or USB mouse, but I'd probably do the Bluetooth mouse. Which, you know, I have to learn that at some point, because I have a few projects that need that. But yeah, let me see what I come up with. All right, so I've got some code running here. Um, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I've got an array uh, per sensor, and it's adding. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's pushing three values on there and then averaging them, and then the sample rate is uh, 20 milliseconds. see what the time sleep calls up here zero zero two zero point one is a hundred so zero two should be twenty <clears throat> but yeah that's I've just been looking around online and it seems like one of the fastest rates well I already can even get down to eight but I was going for um, ten every second like ten Hertz I don't know if that's too slow, but yeah. The point though is, um, even just sitting there, there's like variation. I added the averaging so it's like more stable, but if you see like, it goes from 951, 45, 42. So this means like the mouse is gonna drift, <laughs> even if it's not doing anything. But uh, yeah, and then. You know, you put your finger there and move towards the top. So, four should go down. It went up. Alright, that's interesting. Moving away reduces. I have to double check that I have the right sensors assigned to. As, like, um,. When you start the sensors, you get to specify like the bus. Oh, I should have put like top left right on here. Yeah, let me double check that real quick. Yeah, so this is concerning. I plug two of them just to test that one, and they're all like broken. The values are not correct. Expect the top one to still be working. So I'm wondering if, like, it's using the wrong. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I discovered two errors, like, I went through and verified which one is which by unplugging and calling the I2C. So uh, I did have the wrong 
thing is signed up here. Like one is the top one. That's the default one that's available. And the other problem is this I squared C detect Y5. Uh, it's always there. Which I don't understand that. Like I unplugged them all and it's still there. Like all right, pull out that one. This one's tough. That one. That one. So none of them are powered, right? And then up here, you run I squared C to tech five, and it's present. So that's not good. <laughs> that's sussy. Sussy baka. None of the other ones should be present, right? One. It's there. Zero. Zero doesn't work. I wonder if it's like it's leaking power. You know? Like if I pull out ground, then it will completely not work. Zero. I don't have the pull up resistor. Oh, there we go. I squared C5. Yeah, so I think it's pulling power. Anyway, I think I've got them now. So this is looking a lot better. When I just sit in there, there's 10 inches, like that's open space. But once you put a finger in the area, that is less than 10. So at this point, the mouse can start listening. There is still drift. Um, but I've got three valleys here that can further condense to make it accurate. And then you take your finger out, and it'll go from 4 back to 10. So, yeah. I think you can see them working too. Like, they have a little purple light. Yeah, right there. There's still something wrong where it seems like the only sensor that's actually working is the left one. If I do this motion, you can see the data change like expected. Like this is the middle, about four inches. It's supposed to be three, but go towards the left sensor, drops down to two, one. All of them drop down to one. That's the issue. Go back to the middle, it's back to four. And I'm wondering, is that something with the instantiation where, like, it's the last one? If I reverse the order of these, will it change? So I say, like, this is one, that's five. So now the top one is the one that'll work. Yeah, top one is working. Damn, I wonder if this thing can't do multiple. I'm gonna check. Damn, so the library I'm using, it's hard coded to just use one bus. See right here? Not focus. Focus. Yeah, SM bus one. So when you instantiate this uh, VL53 class down here, pass in the parameter, which I'm supposed to put the bus in, but it only takes address. So the bus is ignored. I'm going to have to modify the class and put the bus in there so it's dynamic. This other library I'm using, though, it actually takes it in. So that's weird. Call open, no parameters. It uses the bus. So 
So why doesn't it work? No comprende. There is something I'm not using. It's this uh, set shutdown pin high for second sensor. I'm gonna see if that helps. Now oh, that sucks because then you have to put another pin here. And this is a different sensor. It's a laser ranger, but they have the same problem where it doesn't work with multiple buses. The guy put in a fix on the C library, or C code. Ah oh, man, damn it. I stupid, I don't wanna do that. I understand, it's supposed to work, but clearly it's not. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Performance-wise, this could be bad, but there's a way I can work around this. Because, uh, the bus selection is working. The issue is, like, uh, it picks the last one. So, like, I instantiate a new one with five. Uh, all the other sensors also use five. So it's, it's using the same sensor. Uh, so what I can do is, I saw this like thing where you can change the address. You change the address, you're specifying the uh, I2C address, not the bus address. But I see this like call, reopen the bus. And, you know, when you do that, I can change the bus there and then read the right one. I just don't know, like, how bad that is with performance. It's like, keep hot swapping buses. Ah, oh, damn. It's always little problems like this that completely stop your project. Yeah, so I'm still stuck. I'm not being able to... It's using the last instantiated sensor for all of them. Even though they're like different class instantiations, it's still stuck on the same bus. And I don't know how to fix it. Do you? Hmm? It's like... Can't change the addresses. Or if you can, you have to like flash something. Yeah, I to see multiplexer, I have to wait. <sighs> I've been trying to screw around with the base library. Override the bus, but it just straight up breaks. Um, I don't know. I might like switch to MicroPython and check their library, see if it's any better. Alright, so what I have to do is make a... Uh, a parallel port thing to wire all three to the same bus that'll free up wires you know then I'll just be back to one bus like the original the one up there and I'll have to add uh, wires per sensor in order to turn them off and address each one individually while being on the same bus which the libraries have examples for that so that's what I'm gonna do on. but as I said I'm gonna get this done today my last day off. So I just soldered this thing real quick. It's a uh, 2x4. Um, this will go to the bus on the Pi. And then all the sensors will connect here and they'll all be parallel wired. Alright, so here it is. Got the shutdown lines attached. They're all parallel wired now. Same bus. I'm just redoing the code so I can support all three. This is based on the uh, multi sensor example from uh, this guy. Uh, get that working and make sure it's right. Then I'll re change it back to that other code where it's averaging the sensors. So I got it all written code. 
Shut down line, blah blah. 17, 27, 22. And it's a seg fault. So that's great. That's great. I think I finally have this working. Oh, uh, partly. I gotta add the third one. This guy put on a PR to fix the multi example. I unplugged this one and now it starts to work and it seems correct. I go there, that decreases, go here, that decreases. The scene here. I confirmed the inches, but yeah. See us testing like uh Go towards left and go towards the top. So I'll modify it to fit a third one, hopefully. Then we should be back on track. It's only like two or three hours later, it's fine. All right, I've got all three working. Um, I did make this a new board. We're just like, they're really far apart. So they're definitely not connected because the last one they were I was like, my soldering isn't that bad, but I guess there was a jump, there was a short somewhere. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I've got all three working. Sometimes there are errors, but and I'm going for the slow sampling, like 80 milliseconds, because that's still under 10 hertz. Uh, although, that's times three, so it's 240, you know. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to do the average shing code. I'll clean this up too. But, oh no. Oh, pretty much. I don't even get this addressing thing. Like, is it, does it mean something or is it just a number? Like, this is like 44 or something, 43. I just went two more up. But, uh, It's interesting. You open it, like two off, two off, two, two values there overwritten. It seems to be working right. I just, uh, I'm gonna print it so it's easier to see, but yeah. <sighs> more pain, more pain. So I just went through and tested that the Shut that mechanism and stuff works. It does. The issue is like when I run the code that changes addresses. One, the top one is like a hundred uh, millimeters more or whatever. Than the other two, and then the other two seem to be the same. Like if I move my finger towards either one, they both have the same value. So I think it's not switching like it's only doing two, not three. So I gotta see what the limit is. Okay, I think I have it. Um, what was the change address? So I'm gonna do is go like top, then left, then right. And if you watch the numbers here, Top, reduce, middle, left, reduce, right, reduce, back to center. The right sensor's a little off, but it's good that they're working correctly though. Left, top, right. Man, I got so side I got so sidetracked, I don't even know what I was trying to do. What I need to do is get it where I go this way and the cumulative like X changes, same with Y. That way I look at something like a dot on a screen and I start moving it and it's moving it. 
So I got to build is a basic web interface that has like a little grid and then a square on it and that moves around. That stuff's not hard. It's just uh, it would have been easier if it was like three hours ago versus after me dumping so much time. <sighs> anyway, at least I got this working. One of the sensors is off though, like kind of bad. It's like almost 50% off compared to the other ones. But it is definitely the right one though, so that's good. And I bought three, you know, uh, new sir, uh, new of these. Although it got delayed, it won't come here till Sunday. Today's Wednesday, so it's a good thing I have all these. So the cornholio has been engaged. <laughs> that's a corn playlist I, for focusing. But uh, anyway, I built a basic like web socket interface thing, and then uh, see it running together, sending the measured values. I think the discrepancy, maybe, which right here is already showing that it's not, but well, let me put my finger in the very middle, <clears throat> straight up. The uh, discrepancy may be uh, because two of them are powered by 5 volts and one is powered by 3, but 3.3. Uh, I don't know if that's the thing, but I'm going to add a power bridge here just in case. And try that out but um yeah at this point i've got a way to see like this red dot will move eventually like you know i'll do that and that'll go in accordance with my finger but uh yeah i, I gotta do the soldering real quick and then i have to do the actual trig summing math I do the soldering i even broke out the ground <clears throat> Uh, it makes no difference. <laughs> the sensors are just, uh, you know, highly, uh, what's the word? You know, like each one is not as accurate as the last kind of thing. Or they're not the same. But anyway, it's still it's fine. I mean, it's just going off averages and general direction. So, it doesn't have to be super accurate. I mean, you're going to sit there and be like, go this way, go that way. But, alright, time to do the actual math part. Yeah, this is what I suck at right here. Like, in general, math. I know what I... What has to happen. Like, it's sort of like a like, tug of war between these three. But, you know, you see up here, like... When the thing is detected, it goes back to the center. But when I put my finger down there... You know, and then uh, it is translating the dimensions over there, but they're not correct yet. I gotta figure it out. See the raw values coming in there. Take it off, fingers gone, put finger back in. <laughs> there. See, I'm working that out. I just wish I did this earlier when I, I wasn't so tired. Been going at this for like six hours, so. Dude, but look at it. All right, wait, go this way, this way, no, up. Okay, hit, no. Go up, left. Middle. Okay. Le All right, go right. No, go back, up. Oh, they're inverted. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 go up. Yeah, what? No. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, I can't do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, look at this. He's a PID man. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Go this way, go this way. Yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> go, go this way. Wait, wait, wait. Stay still, stay still. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. Go this way. 